Hello, the internet Saffron here, going back to later alligator. And we just finished talking to tall Jared and then Pat called, he's like, you gotta come back. So that's where we stopped last time. So now here we are. And who are you, mysterious fellow? Well, hello and pleasant evening, my good chum. I didn't mean to startle you. Slazarius? <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to startle you. Not I, yo. You see, it is within my very nature to sculpt mysteriously around corners and the like in deft silence. As my mother was a mysterious slipper designer and my father was mysteriously absent. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else you got to say, Slazarius? Oh, but enough about me. What about you? You seem like an alligator with an agenda as well. An agenda? See, now that sounds weird. A agenda? An agenda? But it should be an agenda as well. Maybe it's just the way I said it. It sounded weird. Anyway, perhaps a mysterious agenda. Well, that's just fine, my friend. That's just fine. You know, they say mysterious agendas are the best agendas of all, second only to salacious ones. Perhaps yours is a little of both. Do you have a blog I can follow? No, do not. I see you noticing my hat, but tread carefully, my dear. Tread carefully. This hat and the secret alligator society it symbolizes have led me down many a dark and terrible road, such as community potlucks with spaghetti so al dente your very soul will ponder the multitudes it requires to chew it. <laughs> See, I, and I like my pasta a little al dente, but if you gotta chew it, chew it, that's a problem. Hey, don't get me started on my on our mysterious rummage sale. <laughs> okay, what about our fundraiser for the SPCA, Extremely Mystical? Our community snake spear production in the park. No, no, that was fairly uneventful. All right, sweet, a puzzle piece. He, okay, so that must be all... Okay, and I don't know that there's any others. I didn't... I didn't look when we were in the distasteful part of town for puzzle pieces, so... Welcome back, esteemed guest. I'm afraid our kitchen is closed early for a closed event in the hotel ballroom tonight. I have provided Mr. Pat with some complimentary stale oyster crackers and tap water. If you'll follow me, I can show you to his room. Okay. Pardon me, we'll be walking soon. Alright, here we go again. Walking, walking, walking. My, what beautiful wallpaper we have. So rich and distracting. <laughs> Uh-huh. Compared to the goo that made a hole in the floor. All right, we arrived. Please inform Mr. Pat you can't have any, any more tap waters after you knock. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're back. I've just been guzzling tap waters and stress eating these funny crackers the waiter gave me. Even though I'm not going to wear them, I went to got all my shoes out anyway. And I just, and I think, I think just for the company, it's scary being alone in here. And now the event is about to begin. But maybe since you're here, nothing bad will happen. This counts as something bad happening. Oh, poor Pat. It's okay, Pat. Do you have a flashlight? I'm scared of the dark. And a flashlight, but slightly less so. Uh, oh, apparently I do have a flashlight. Here you go. Hey, I found one. Do I look like that old video by Alligator Queen? Hopefully with this, we can make it through the corridors of the hotel to the ballroom where the event is safely. Just walk really close to me, okay? We have no way of telling who's out, who or what is out there. Out in those twisty... Uh, maybe I should actually read the dialogue instead of just words. All right, I guess I'll play. Powers out, click and hold to guide Pat through the dark hotel. Okay. Well, looks like it's okay. Doesn't seem like there's too much to worry about. <laughs> the legs following him, it's kind of creepy. It's like I'm some kind of weird stalker. What do we find? Oh no, a clock! Dread and horrors. Ah, a reminder of the inevitable passage of time that will one day consume all us all into the infinite. Also, I can't read analog clocks. Okay, well, we keep looking here. But yeah, well, maybe there was something this way. I thought it was just the wall, but oh, no, it isn't. It's actually, it's just another corridor. The wood is different. Oh, and there's the pink door. It's that guy. Whoa, that guy again. I wonder what that pink stuff is. Probably nothing corrosive with a, probably nothing corrosive with a hefty half-life. 
Uh, it should be something corrosive because it made a hole in the floor for pity's sake. All right, where are we to next here? Was this here? Oh, that must be his girlfriend. Um, I think I might have walked in on something sensitive. Cute. I guess though, she's kind of a big woman, so maybe that's why he was nervous. Oh no! Ah, self-examination. <laughs> yeah, that can be pretty scary. Okay, which way do we want to go? Let's just keep exploring. It's kind of fun. And I don't know. Like, I'm sure we'll get through this eventually. Oh, okay. So now we just went in a circle. But yeah, I just want it's kind of just fun seeing Pat's little reactions. So keep going down this way to the nice carpeted room. What? Oh! That was either an intense Halloween decoration or proof that life persists beyond the mortal coral. Either way, I'm not really happy about it. That's okay. I'm right behind you, Pat. It's nice that I can just walk on this table. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going here. And I'd say it's a big hotel, but I mean, it's a hotel, so it should be big. Rat. Okay, this looks like... Oh, as if that looks like a gate. Apparently it's not. Oh dear, where are we headed? And I don't know if I'm supposed to be getting anywhere. Like my time clock is gone, but I'm just having fun. Oh, hi. It's a wall alligator. <laughs> There's just something unwholesome about reading graphic novels and the pitch dark sediment of a broken hotel room. <laughs> I don't know if unsol unwholesome is the appropriate word, but... Okay, now what this? Oh, it's a stuffed alligator. How cute. Did you see it move? I think I saw it move. No, it didn't move, Pat. You're just freaking out. It's okay, buddy. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, we're in this big room. Now let's go around this way. Oh no! Oh, that's the armoire, the haunted armoire. No one's following me. I should have never bought that dresser from Grant Nana Rue. The deal was just as scary as its obvious possession. Okay, so if that's the armoire... Oh, just looks like a big circle. Let's keep going. Let's keep looking. Oh no, what's that? Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> oh, he's anything but Marty. Crazy Marty. <laughs> oh, and that was in the episode that was missed. But he was interfering with the, uh... The grill, the cooking grill game. I can think of what it was. It was missed, so I guess it's kind of moot. Oh, is this new? Well, this looks like a new area. Okay, no, well, I mean, it's kind of new. I think we're back on the right path. No, there's a stuffed animal. Oh, here we go. What, well, Mandy? I'd ask what he's doing here, but he is attracted to spotlights, like a moth that smells like hair gel. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna do large sweeps here, so I'm making sure I'm not missing- oh, okay, I must have made it! Dun dun dun! What will happen if poor Bubble become a poor Pat? Yeah, it was a birthday party the whole time! <laughs> of course it was! Do we get to see who the- Guy following you the whole time was and searching. I didn't get everybody though, so clearly I'll have to go through and clean up some things. On my way over, I passed the abandoned Miss Hoople Hoople Doom's home for spooky 800s children's 
children with coughs. Wouldn't you know it, my phone stopped working again. All it does now is sing Ring Around the Rosie in a slow, haunting manner and try to order a stick and hoop with my credit card. <laughs> Having sit still for this long is harder than that time I did a squat-a-thon and my pants split due to my to the meaty glute offshoot. At least then I got new yoga pants and raised $100 for guys without thighs. <laughs> it's an important organization, Brokio. Hello, star child. May I interest you in a flyer for my upcoming crystal yoga class? We're going to stand on our heads and really give it, some, give it to some quartz. There's also going to be a free pizza. In the dumpster outside Italian Tony's cheese circles. <laughs> like Bellissimo or whatever. Can I talk to little Terrence? No. Can I move? Oh yeah. All right, let's keep going here. I wanna just talk, talk to everybody. Live in a zoo. You smell like an alligator, and that is auspicious, unsuspicious, and correct. Talk to his dad. Hi, birthday party. I'm dad. Ha ha ha. Ah, oh, yeah. Dad did you good there, champ. Now go eat some cake. Yeah, I'll get some. Ah, go. Mercy, it's been a dog age since I've been been to a swing and shindig. You know what, Manny? Just kidding. Mostly. Oh, oh. Puzzle piece. Yay. Okay, well, let's see here. Good evening and good morrow, friend. What an auspicious sign that we have crossed paths once more. Perhaps we have some unknown star dying, star dying connection, or you really want to read my zine, my zine about cool lizards. Check it out, I have a whole chapter dedicated to Totapicus the Groovy. <laughs> oh, and Tin Liz, you guys should have seen your faces when you came in. I took like a thousand pictures. Pat looked like he thought he was going to die or something. Hold on, I'm totally live vlogging this. Hey there. I got worried you guys wouldn't make it on account of the blackout. Pat's scared of the dark, and hallways, and parties come to think of it. This usually doesn't end well as it's, as well as... Usually doesn't end as well as this, is what I'm saying. Let's talk to Marie. Oh, I'm so proud of my Patrick. He didn't threaten a coat rack shadow with a stapler and jump out a window. Or dump the punch bowl in the toilet think it was poison. This is already going to so much better than his birthday last year. My dad said dentist's IRA was getting a little too literal for me, and so I got grounded from soda for a billion years. Now I'm only allowed to have this fizzy fruit lacroque, which is just carbonated water with a lemon sneezed in or something. I already miss the sweet, sweet chemical burn of Dr. Soda pickling my small internal organs. Aw, she said by herself, All right, you can look at my cards, but don't go around telling everybody, everyone you meet me about it, capiche? If they knew I'd let you look at my cards, every girly Lou and Bobby who's a do would be coming over here trying to get a peep. Don't let the greater public masses look at my cards. Okay. Oh, hi again. You found me, hee <laughs> hee. Thanks for always playing. Next time I'll look for you. Slick Mikey. Hey, put her, old, put her there, old pal. It's time for an old-fashioned handshake. Just ignore the snail trail. I'm told it's full of vitamins and helps with drying. And that it comes out my limbs and leaves a crying. <laughs> oh, hey, where are you going? Horace and I have come to an understanding of sorts, wherein he remains dead and courteous, and I don't call in a priest or buy any more poisons wholesale. I'm gonna lose my AARP discounts being up this late. They take a hard look at your benefits if you do too much staying up past eight or roller banging. Roller, <laughs> roller blading. <laughs> Again, read the words. I'm not giving up my Tuesdays at Roller World. All right, Pat. I'm so happy. I wasn't getting rubbed out. I was getting birthday clout. So nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Everything you did for me today, it really meant so much. You're a really special friend. I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on. Everything is ready for the photo. Except for you. Follow me. Oh, hooray. Oh, look at... Oh, I can customize. <gasps> Sweet. Customize me! What can I do here? Oh, and I suppose I get to pick from the ones I found. Oh, I don't know which one. I kind of like that one. He's got big teethies. That one's cool too, though. It's just simple. All right, we're going for... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this could be a while. I like that one. Okay, and eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um <laughs> Anime eyes. Oh, I love it. 
Okay, let's go with those. The body. Ooh, ooh, I like the I like the slim tie. Let's do that one. Alright, hair. Definitely gotta have different hair. Um I don't know if I dig that. Oh I can't. Let's not have a hat. Let's not have Pat's silly hat. Um no, I don't want that hat either. Nope, don't like that hat either. Oh, let's see what I want. I kind of dig that. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that for glasses. Oh, and I can change the color of my head. Sweet! Color of my eye bones. Color of the... I kind of dig the black. Color of the hair. Well. Let's see what we got. I kind of dig that. Teeth. Oh, I can have different teeth. <gasps> yes, let's do that. Okay, that looks like me. All done. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Now, I didn't get the family tree done. I didn't get, there was more puzzles to do. But otherwise, all done. Oh, and then we, do we just start all over? Which is good because there's... The game is won, the story ends sweet. But though it seems done, has this all been deceit? What's really going on? Does our tale end here? Oh! That second chapter went too fast! I couldn't read it! <laughs> oh my gosh, but I love this game so much. I gotta get another drink here. If you can't tell my throat, <coughs> it's a little dry. Uh, but there we go. But yeah, I just, I really, really adore this game. And it's, and it's not necessarily short because it looks like there is lots of replayability, but I'm definitely gonna go back into it and uh, play some more because I just, it was so much fun. I loved it. Even if it's just silly, silly mini games, it was fun. Ooh, options. Do I have new options now? Can I do the puzzle? No, okay. So anyway, we're going to just end the episode here. I will get back to this. There's some other stuff I want to do first. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.